maybe that's what's on his mind. He's formulating a strategy going into that match. Right now, he's got Reese Tucker here tonight on prime time. It looks like Reese is making some video game arrangements with our referee, Adam Smith. Referee Adam is going to be in charge of the match. He'll be in charge of all the matches here tonight. Now, Adam is checking Benjamin to make sure he's clear of any objects that don't belong in the ring. He'll do like he believe he already did likewise for Reese. He's holding on to the video game, the handheld. Well, I mean, Benja needs to get his mind off. I mean, maybe that's why he did what he did with Kieran a few moments ago. Said that he's going to be getting his re his rematch, but, you know, that he did it, congratulating him and everything. Maybe I wants to get his head on straight, but I'll tell you this. If he doesn't get it on straight now, he's going to have a tough time with the smaller man. Well, like we alluded to in our pregame show, Reese Tucker needs to use his speed, his agility, and his aerial maneuvers. He's got to do whatever he can to keep Benjamin Nirvana off guard. If he can do that, anything is possible. But this is, at the same time, it's also a complete mismatch on paper. There's something to be said for, for Benja's mindset going into this match. Keeping, keeping the fundamentals first and foremost in his mind, concentrating on the main game. Now, we've got a lockup in the center of ring, collar and elbow tie-up. Look at the size discrepancy between these two. Overhand wrist lock from Reese. And reversed by Benja very quickly. You know, he's big and strong, but he's just as quick as he is big and strong. Well, regardless, now Benja taking Reese down with that snap mare, but there's still something a little off there about Benja. Yeah, because normally he'd be stomping the hell out of him right now, and he's not doing that. A very apparent change seeming to come over the big shot, Benja Nirvana. And they lock up once again in the center of the ring. There's an Irish whip into the ropes. Here comes Reese off the ropes. And he just tried a shoulder block, but that ain't happening. That's like running into a brick wall. Here comes exactly. Benja. Uh oh, he's coming up with that fist drop, dropping it there on Reese. And you know, was like I said, that was kind of like a cart, like a video game or a cartoon aspect. That's going in for the pin. There's one, and only a one count. I mean, Reese just hit Benja, and it just fell over. It was almost like he. Yeah, you know, it almost a game over screen. Pretty much blue screen of death if you're a Windows user. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Here's a pickup here from Benja. Oh look at this, a kick right to the midsection doubles Benja over. Reese needs to get back in that mindset that brought him the victory at the Battle Royal at Beach Brawl. And capitalize well, on the maneuvers that he hits here. Well, I mean, he... Oh, wait a minute, going... Taking him down with that headlock takedown. Taking That's over big... the much larger man. Oh, I mean, you're looking at it like this. I mean, he's got... Right now, he, yeah, he may have lost, but he's got... A, he had a lot of confidence. I mean, you look at the people that were in there. I mean, you had, like, the likes of Tremor. The Crisis. You know, you know your favorite burn victim? Sure. <laughs> and a lot of other people in for that extreme title. But, oh, wait a minute. Benja oh, my quick. Boom. A nice float over DDT by the big man. Just planted him face first. Here's a roll-up attempt here. Cut of one. Cut of two. Reese manages to power out. Let's, take a, let's go back to that side headlock for just a moment. Normally, Benja Nirvana would be accusing... His opponent of pulling the hair, he'd be screaming at the referee. Thus far, Benja has not done that in this match. Yeah, but there, there's also not a mention of one care of one figure as well that he's always mentioned about, and that's the man in black. Is right now Benja in the corner with those shoulders right to the solar plexus there of Reese. Repeated turnbuckle thrusts here, and it looks like Benja's gathering up ahead of steam. Here he comes. 
And he runs right into the drop kick from Reese Tucker. Reese must have used some power up to get to the high thing, the drop kick him, but he definitely connected with it. That was a good maneuver for him. It's what he needed to do. Now look at this. Reese going in for the cover here. Kind of one, kind of two. Only a two count. It's going to take more than a drop kick to keep Benjamin Nirvana down. I can tell you that right now. But Reese has got to go back to the well. Keep doing what he does. Keep with the quick maneuvers, the high flying. He can't play Benja's game with him. If he tries to match power for power against Benjamin Nirvana, that's not happening. Oh, here he goes. As we said, Reese going up to the high rent district. The air's a little thin up there. Reese Tucker about to fly. Up in that red light district. But now is it going to be a red light or a green light when he flies? Well, this is always a dangerous proposition because if it hits, it hits well. If it doesn't... Oh, my... Oh, like right there. He went for it, and Benja just caught him with a vicious power slam. Definitely a sudden stop or a quicker stop, I should say, oh from that God. flight. It's like they say, though, you know, it's not the fall that kills you. It's a sudden stop at the end. There's the orange crush right there. That could be the end of this match. That is one of the signatures of Benjamin Nirvana right there. Count of one, count of two, and three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the contest is the big shot, Benja Nirvana. Standing over Reese Tucker, looking down at the defeat, his defeated opponent. What is Benja going to do next? He's already beaten the man. He's helping him up? Wait, what? Uh, Natas, alright. Who is this guy in the ring and what did he do with Benja?